What is up everyone? Welcome back to Swicked in 5. Let's go ahead and leave the revolving bridge. We're done with this area. I got enough to create two steel orbs. I'm going to go ahead and make those at the rune shop. As soon as we get back to Rathleet. And then we're good to advance the storyline. We recruited all the characters we could recruit up to this point in the game. So, go back to advancing the storyline. To advance the storyline, we're going to go to Lord Lake. Oops. I don't know what happened there, but we're back here. I guess you press L2 to skip that, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, it's a symbol. Oh yeah, technically, you can make two of them. Steel orb. They drop those pretty frequently. Steel effect. 0 0.2 direct damage received. Magic defense is zero. So basically, you basically take barely any damage from physical attacks, but you get no magic defense at all. So totally not worth it uh, to get rid of your magic defense entirely. Oh, we're going to assemble the second one though as well. Yeah, if you want to farm those, you can. Uh, they're pretty easy to get. What do they sell for? Not bad. 15,000. They're pretty easy to get, honestly. You just need four steel pieces. And, like I said, they drop them pretty frequently. So, not too bad, honestly. You want to grind grind those things and then sell the orbs I don't think it's there's a lot better places to grind later uh, but anyway we have returned to Babbage's workshop let's return to Strice yeah Sorensen's my new bodyguard now guys Leon Leon left and it's now Sorensen's my bodyguard just kidding obviously He's going to be leaving shortly. Can you like advance the storyline with him in your group? Because the problem is, as soon as we go back to Strice, Babbage and Lou are going to leave the party. I doubt you can keep them with you though. I'm going to get these paintings appraised. They drop paintings as well. Equilibrium piece. We get these paintings appraised. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to advance the storyline with them in the group. I doubt you can. That'd be kind of dumb if you could. And I don't really want them with me anyway. It's not worth it. Yeah, it'd be nice to keep Babbage around, but... Okay, apparently all they give you is graffiti. I'm go ahead and sell some of those graffitis then. Keep one of them just to say I have it. Alright, back to a strice we go. I'm not going to show me going all the way back there though. Do want to hit up the trading post first. Somebody in a strice over, -pur over purchase pearls. Okay, so we can go buy pearls and um... Uh, strice. 
You basically get them for almost half off. We have to go to Strice anyway, so I'll meet you guys over there. Be right back. Oh crap, we're in Lord Lake. We gotta take the boat to Hod Village. I'm gonna go over to Loon and Log. Okay, and then you select Hod Village. And that's how you get back to a strice. You go to Hod Village and then from Hod Village you go back to a strice. And yeah, so it is L2 to skip the cutscene. Or to skip that scene there. Of the ship. You press L2 weirdly enough. By the way, before moving back to Lou, or not Lou, moving back to Astrice, you can remove the SP of Lou because she will be leaving, so you might as well just take the SP off of her. And you can just get more SP later for her if you plan to use her. Or you can just leave, leave the SP on her, doesn't matter. I'm still going to miss Babbage, him and his treasure hunting, so very helpful, but unfortunately he will no longer be with us for a while. I must take good care of this gear, crafting a similar gear would take months, so much precision, precision. months I say, yes of course professor. Wow, that was so cool. Come on. Don't you think that was the most awesomest thing ever? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Oh, by the way, who are you, kid? You sure do look... You sure do like to dress all fancy-dancy. You some rich kid royalty? <laughs> Pretty much. Or I'm the prince. Huh? That's right. I tried to tell you earlier, but you didn't listen. You must learn to pay attention, Lou. No way! You're not all... You're not all lie lie lie, are you? The real princey? So that means I just went on an adventure with the prince? Yes, you did. And you might want to watch your manners if you... Squee! Wowies. Wowies. This is like the most coolest thing ever. I gotta go tell all my friends. Wow. I didn't even think a girl as odd as her had any friends. <laughs> You're one to talk, Sorensen. I'm very sorry about her. Well, I suppose it's not really my fault, but it's just... Sorensen, I could use your help. Come over and open this cupboard, will you? He needs help opening a cupboard? Of course, I'll be right there, Professor. I must get back to work, Your Highness. It was great to see you see the revolving bridge with you, though. Thornson, Lou, and Babbage leave the party. Hmm. What is it this time? I thought I already took care of the revolving bridge for you. Did I not? Hmm. Please join us. Ah. You've clearly recognized my technical prowess. Not really a surprise, but I'm rather busy. Ah, I have, an, I have a solution. A perfect solution. Sorensen, I have something to tell you. Um, what? Oh, what is it, Professor? Sorensen, go and work with the at the prince's castle, yes. We don't have a castle yet, but that will work just fine. What a grand idea. What?
For professor, does that mean I'm um, fired? Sorry about that, I was finishing my coffee. Not at all. I'm far too busy. You go to my place to help the prince build mechanical devices for him. You mean like a representative of Professor Babbage's workshop? Oh, wow, thank you, Professor. I'll put everything you've ever taught me to good use. I look forward to serving you, Your Highness. You befriended Swordson. What do you want me to do, Your Highness? Come along with us. Might as well. Got a free slot in my party. This isn't as easy as it looks, especially with my assistant away. Goodness. How I stay on schedule. I know this is a word a lot of people use as goodness. What is up with that, by the way? Our friend uses that a lot, too. Like, why does everybody say that? Like, Michael Cole in WWE says goodness a lot as well. I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying, I'm just asking why. Like, I don't understand. I don't think I've ever used the word goodness in my entire life. Now, I hear a lot of people say, say, say that, though. Okay, wizard hat. Ninja garb. The problem with, with equipping people in this game is I always, like I might forget to unequip them and I don't really like to equip people because if I forget to remove their equipment. Anyway, I want to train here. Gets the guy's attack up some there. We can now remove the guy from the party. Because I don't need to... Let's bring in Cornelia, I guess. Or I guess we have a free slot. So I guess I might as well bring... The guy right. I want to go by the trading post before leaving here. And then we're going to head back to... Raffleet. And I'm going to... Go to Lord Lake. Somebody, okay. So let me go ahead and buy these pearls. I also usually buy sugar, salt, and soybeans as well. Then end up selling them later. Definitely buy, when it says about the pearls being real cheap, definitely come here and buy them. Because you can make like 30,000 plus profit. And I'll show you that here in a second. I'll meet you guys over in Hod Village. And we'll, we'll sell that uh, pearl that we just bought. Alright, so let's go ahead and leave Braffleet and we'll head on over to Lord Lake. Back to Lord Lake for the third time. Uh, by the way, I um, gave Josephine the lightning rune. And also gave her the lightning amulet. Which adds one to lightning but minus one to earth. So she has an A in lightning magic. So that will be very handy for her. Uh, obviously the lightning rune is very good against boss battles. Um, it's usually solo solo target. And then like fire magic is AoE like multiple enemy hits multiple enemies. And we have Shigur and Kyle in the party as well. I'm trying to get their SP up some. I equipped everybody too because we're going to need 
Uh, as you can tell, a lot of my characters are equipped with stuff. At least, I have Zagai equipped. Uh, Kyle, Josephine, the main character, Shigur, and Leon equipped with stuff. Because the next, the next dungeon is pretty difficult. It's definitely the most difficult dungeon we'll be going through so far. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll beat it, no problem, but I'm just saying. You're going to want to come prepared for it. It's not like the other dungeons where you don't have to equip anything. You're going to have to equip something for this next dungeon. Talk to Talgiel here. Your Highness, we too have now heard the truth about Lord Baros. And the truth is so awful, I can't even feel, ang feel angry. Why did Lord Rovere have to die? Why did we have to suffer? Was it all meaningless? I don't know what to say. So what brings you here today, your highness? Did you come to tell us that everything was Lord Barrows' fault and that we should genuflect before you in gratitude? No, that's not why we're here. We just wanted to see if there was anything we could do to help. That's all. I apologize if I seem bitter, but there are those in town who are far more bitter than I, your highness. We've suffered so very much, and I think I need to put a face on that suffering for you, your highness. Let's go to Dr. Silva's clinic. So Taugio will temporarily join here. Nice southerner. I can't believe it. Barrows was just using us. I should have known that Snake would do something like that. Yeah, he is a pretty garbage person, ain't he? Let's not sugarcoat anything. It was all Barrows' fault. It's because of him that the poor, innocent children had to suffer. It makes me so mad. Yeah. All the elderly, too. Those are the people you feel sorry for, you know. Bone heals. It's a new, uh, boost evasion. I may be up there in years, but I'm determined to hang on until I see Barrow six feet under. <laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't it? Nah. I don't... I wouldn't wish death on anybody. Something I would never do. I want everybody to live, you know? Live, live as long as you can live. Even people I hate. Because I'd, I'd want to live a long life. So. I wouldn't wish it on anybody, honestly. I don't know. Barrow certainly went too far. Yeah, that he did. He'll pay, though. Oh, why are we being tortured like this? It is cruel. It is just too cruel. Your Highness, why have you spared Lord Barros after what he did? Oh, we haven't sp spared him at all. Uh, and, and yeah, I've said this before, but this the architecture in this area just gets me every time. I can't help it. Like, the boats that are over here should be over here, and there should be like a wall here, right? Preventing the water from getting over here. And this is where you walk across. Because if the water's here, right, you have to ride the boats across. Unless you want to run walk through the water. 
I guess you could just walk through the water, I guess. But it's like, come on. Like, who's going to do that? You're going to obviously ride. You're going to get on the boat and you're going to go across. This short of distance. It's like, come on. I'm sorry, but it's just, it gets me every time. I felt the same way when the queen died. I'm sorry, your highness. It's like, it's like if you like wrote, that'd be like driving your car next door, you know? Like if I were to, if I knew my neighbors, right? And I just drove my car across the street instead of just walking across the street, you know? I don't know any of my neighbors, but I'm just saying if I did, that would be weird, right? You guys would think that would weird would be weird if I were to drive my car across the street, right? Am I wrong or right about that? Like, obviously, you would just walk, right? Prince, I thought the water went away because the queen was angry with us. So shouldn't it come back? Oh, I think I already read that dialogue earlier. Hi, oh, Your Highness. What a pleasure to see you. A real pleasure. I'm so glad you've come to our town, even after everything that's happened. I can tell you how grateful I am. To think that I blamed Her Majesty when so much the responsibility for what happened really lies with Barros. Yep. He manipulated everybody. It all makes sense now. Now I understand why Barros ruined Lord Robre and why Godwin built that dam. Is because Lord Lake was faithful to her majesty and that made us a nuisance. So it sounds like Lord Robery was killed by Lord Barros, that son of a... Oh sorry, Prince, but you can surely understand my anger, right? Yeah. Yep, I get it. If I was in their situation, I'd feel the same way. I'd be... I wouldn't be in Lord Lake, though. I'd be getting some revenge, you know? I'd be ga grouping together and going to the palace or wherever you gotta go. The forest is dead as it ever, ever was. You can go ahead and take a look, but there's practically nothing left. Yeah. Is there new enemies in the forest, though? I guess we can check real quick. Might be new enemies here. So I think there is new enemies here later. Nope, same enemies. No? Actually, it is new enemies. I could tell because of the amount of poach we got. There was more than we would have got when we came here earlier. Yeah, I think these are different hounds too, though, the ones we fought earlier. Yeah, I think those are new. I think we did come here a second time, though. When we came here to Lord Lake the second time, I think we fought those before, though. So. Alright, let's go back over to this badly designed part here. Go across. I heard Prince. All along we were just pawns in some stupid feud between the nobles. Damn. Damn. Damn it all. There's no sense in pointing fingers. It won't help the town return to normal. And it won't bring my son back either. Yeah, it's true. Alright, here we go in the clinic. Dr. Silva. I thought I asked you not to come here. No, Dr. Silva, I'm the one who brought them here. His Highness needs to see the realities of the, our town. Talgiel. If it's a personal request, I guess I can allow it. Fortunately, you were dressed differently than the last time you came. The patients won't recognize you. Now that some of them can see very well not that any of them can see very well at all to begin with but just be quiet please yeah we will yes doctor I'll show you the infirmary 
we came here earlier, but we just couldn't. Wheezing water, can't see, can't breathe. Moo, mommy. Some have severe stomach infections from drinking contaminated water. Some have sunstroke, and all are malnourished. And we're never at a shortage of patients. But without a clean supply of water, there's nothing I can do. I can only try to ease their suffering in some small way. It's not easy being a doctor in this town. Um, do you think we could move these people to Rafleet? There's plenty of water there. I suppose we could, but it'd only be a temporary solution. Even if they got better in Rafleet, they just end up right back where they started when they came back here. So why couldn't they just move to Rafleet? All who wanted to move did so long ago. The only ones left in Lord Lake are those who feel they belong here, who have, who love this town, every fiber of their being. If you told them to go somewhere else just because there was water there, they'd refuse to go. Tagil left the party. Well, what have you come for me at last? If only water would return to our town, so many of our problems would be solved. Yeah, that's true. Come on, lady. There's no treasure up here. Lake needs water. Until these people get water, nothing else matters. Those are pretty big beds, by the way, as well. Ooh, my tummy. It hurts so bad. Look at this place. How can you expect anything from us? Yeah, we need to get water back to that place. Prince, it looks like the only way to save this town is to somehow get the water to return. Hey, hey you guys! Hey, it's the kid again, Toma. Oh, it's you. Hey, did you just say something about helping this town? Don't make me laugh. We would never even think of accepting help from you guys. What, what are you looking at? Whether you want help from us or not, the fact is, we want to help, we feel we should help, and so that's what we're going to do. That's right. I don't understand. Why, why do you guys care so much? Whatever. If you really want to help that bad, go ahead. But there's just one thing. I'm going to keep an eye on you. Make sure you do it right. I can't have you guys messing up everything, can I? Um, are you saying you want to come with us? Of course, that's what I'm saying. How am I supposed to keep an eye on you if I don't come with you? You're welcome to come along. <laughs> Prince, are you sure? Alright, then, uh... Toma, the name's Toma. Toma, nice to meet you, Toma. Wait, did I say his name? Before he even said his name? I thought he said his name earlier. Oops. I spoiled his name. Oomph. Nothing nice about meeting you guys. I, I remembered his name from when I played... When I played last time. Alright, let's... I don't think Toma has any support abilities. No, he doesn't. I know it's not your fault. It's about what we were supposed to do now. Prince, let's go back for now and consult with Lucretia. We'll, we'll consult with Lucretia in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.